then serves in China as a medical missionary, and then the following year moves to Korea. Not long after arriving to Korea, Allen had treated Prince Young Min who was badly injured during a battle and gained respect from the royal family. Then in 1885, King Kojong provided royal finances to help Allen establish Korea's first medical center. But many years later, in 1897, Horace Allen became the U.S. Minister to the Korean Empire. In 1903, Horace Allen, with the help of David Deschler and Reverend George Jones, helped the first wave of Koreans migrate to Hawaii. Because the Korean workers who came in within the first six months of 1903 fulfilled Allen's expectations, word was sent out back to Korea to recruit more people. It was recorded that in 1903, over 1,133 Koreans had migrated to Hawaii. Then the following year, the number had nearly doubled to 3,434. According to a 1910 census, there was about 4,500 Koreans who were currently living in Hawaii, while another 1,000 went back to Korea, then another 1,000 moved to the West Coast. Life for Korean Americans after the first wave wasn't easy because like many other Asian Americans in the US, they dealt with a lot of racial prejudices. And it wasn't until the late 60s that they became more accepted after the new immigration law. 